Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, it's kind of a vlog but not really because I wasn't really vlogging on this vacation because I wanted to make it more about family time than about YouTube. So what I decided to do was just take all the clips that I had just for the memories and I'll just narrate over them so it's kind of like a vlog so it's kind of like you guys came along with me. You know what I mean? So anyway, we left our house around 3.30 in the morning in order to get to the airport at 5 for our 7 a.m. flight which we barely made because check-in took so long but we made it and then we flew to Tampa Florida where we picked up our car and then we drove to Kissimmee Orlando which is where we were staying and on our way there we stopped at IHOP for breakfast and honestly that's all that I recorded that day because I was so so tired if you saw my vlog right before this you'll know that I didn't get any sleep the night before but the family as a whole we were all pretty tired so I didn't vlog anything besides the flight and breakfast, but all you guys missed was we went to Walmart to get groceries to put in our kitchen, and then um, we ended up getting Chinese food for dinner. That's really it, nothing exciting. So yeah, we're just gonna go into the next day. So the next day was a bright and shiny, beautiful day. We were all in a much better mood. We were all well rested and ready to actually enjoy this vacation. And on this day, we went to SeaWorld. I already know, I already know that somebody's gonna attack me for this. I know that this is a very controversial park to visit because of the killer whales. Before you guys hate me, I also agree that the whales shouldn't be there. And honestly, I thought they were gonna stop doing the whale shows back in 2019 when they finally decided to stop breeding the whales, but apparently they were still doing them, but I honestly didn't know that was gonna be happening. So yeah, that was happening. But besides that, the park was a lot of fun to be at. Um, if you guys have never been to SeaWorld, it's not only an aquarium, but it's kind of like a theme park because they have rides there as well, and they have shows besides just the animal shows. They also have like things on screens, like a theater, but I didn't record any of that, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it's just a really fun park to be at, and you know, obviously it's an aquarium, so we saw the fish and other animals as well. <laughs> So we didn't end up staying until the park closed. I think we ended up leaving around 4 because we had seen all that there was to see or all that we wanted to see. So we ended up going home and then later on that night my brother and I decided to go night swimming at the pool because it was still pretty hot and humid outside so we figured we'd do that. But um, yeah that was pretty much our first full day of vacation. So the next day we decided to go to Aquatica which is SeaWorld's water park and you know obviously it has a lot of water slides and everything which we did for a little while but for the most part we are a family of swimmers. We love the pool and we can stay in there for hours and hours and that's exactly what we did. It actually ended up going up to 100 degrees that day so it was actually for the best that we stayed in the pool because it was not the weather to be standing on line for a slide. So we just stayed in that pool and we swam and swam and swam and that was our entire day basically until we were ready to go home.
we got home that evening, I decided to be the one to make dinner that day and I made something very easy. I just made tacos because we were still on vacation so I wasn't trying to do a whole big meal, okay? And they were good. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all that went on for that day. So we decided to use this next day as a rest day because if you don't take a break from your vacation while you're on vacation, you're going to come home exhausted and needing another vacation. So we used this day to just sleep in and be lazy and do nothing. I also used this day to make a tour of the room that we were staying in. So I'll either insert that at the end of this video if it's not too long or I'll just make it a whole separate video. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, later on that day, my mom, my younger brother, and I decided to go on a small little shopping trip just for the fun of it. There's this little shopping center near where we were staying, and they had stores like TJ Maxx, Burlington, Rack Room Shoes, Rue 21, just stores like that. So we decided to just do a little bit of shopping just for the fun of it, just because we were there. I did really good, guys. I didn't do too, too much shopping. I barely bought anything, and I'm really, really proud of myself because... You guys know I love to shop, but we were on vacation and my suitcase was only so big, so I tried really hard not to go too crazy. So anyway, later on that night, the whole family ended up going back to SeaWorld because we had free passes to go there again. Because during our first visit, we ran into these people who, you know, they try and sell you these um, timeshares and they always lure you in with these gimmicks. If you've ever been to a tourist area, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. So the gimmick that they lured us in with were these free park tickets and if we listened to them, they would give them to us. So we didn't end up taking the timeshare, but we did take the free park tickets, so we used it tonight to go again. And it was perfect because the first time we came to Orlando, we went to SeaWorld and they had this beautiful fireworks show that we had wanted to see this time, but we didn't know that they only did it on weekends. So because we got those free passes, we got to go again on a weekend and see it. So if you guys don't know, SeaWorld Orlando has this after party thing that goes on. So basically, it's these shows and this dance party. And you see it's like all this acrobatic performances. And then after that, it's this show called Ignite. And it is the best fireworks display I have ever seen, ever. And if you guys are ever in SeaWorld Orlando, I definitely recommend staying until the park closes to see this beautiful display. It's fireworks, but it's also real fire and lasers, music, waterworks. It's everything. And the camera doesn't do it any justice. You really have to see it in person. But I'm going to let this clip play so that you guys have an idea of what it's like.
All right, guys, so this video is pretty long as it is, so I'm gonna end it off right here and just make this a part one, and then the rest of our vacation will be a part two. So look out for that. So thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.